Hey everybody, so I decided to come back and show you what this looked like when it's done. And this is what it looks like. And I used a little bit of mozzarella and a little bit of provolone because I didn't have a lot of mozzarella. And about the kind that was already pre-packaged. So that's a better picture of it there. And it doesn't, the kind that's in the package doesn't always spread well. It doesn't have that good spreadability. Um, so had I thought about it, I would have grabbed some fresh mozzarella. Because I just think it spreads better. And then I added a little provolone. So I have a little spaghetti here. And that's one of the... Um, you could take some of the sauce if you have some. You could. I don't have much sauce. It called for about 16 ounces of sauce. I didn't think you really need it. Um, the idea of this is that when you cut into it, and I let mine cook for mm, a little over a half an hour. So you, it's just a big meatball with grated potato, grated carrot, chives, everything is in there, chives, carrot, potato, um, little cheese, parsley, oregano, I put basil in mine, garlic, one egg, just like you're making a meatball, or um, just like you're making a meatball, or a meatloaf, but you're putting the carrot and everything in it. And then the sauce I used is, um, I didn't make my own sauce, I got my sauce, I used Italian Classic Wegmans, which is in the box, it's $1.99, which is not bad. And it's made with carrots, celery, onions, garlic, parsley, and it's really delicious. It's a nice marinara sauce. And that's it. So it's really a beautiful meal. And the recipe came from cookery.com. There's no name for it. They make a bunch of videos and they write on the video what the actual... Um, ingredients are. So I'm going to link to the video if I can. I, it, it doesn't have a share link. Um, you can, I posted it on my Facebook, but the best I can do is give you the cookery link on Facebook and the website page, and then you can just scroll through them. They post so many videos. There's no actual name for it. So again, it's one pound ground beef. I used 80-20 um, so because I used 80-20, I didn't use a lot of olive oil to fry this up, but you basically just mix your, um, your minced meat or your ground beef or ground turkey with, um, a little bit of yellow onion or cooking onion, about a half an onion, and one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. I didn't do that much. I did a half teaspoon of each. Um, two cloves of garlic minced, um, a teaspoon of paprika, um, one or two really nice scallions or onion chives chopped up, two potatoes medium size grated on a box cutter grater, and one medium size carrot, one egg, you put that all together, you mix it like you would a meatball, roll it in your hand, pat it out. Put a little olive oil in your frying pan and pat them down as you cook them. Fry them really good. Then put them into a contain a, a casserole dish or foil container or whatever. Layer them. Put your 16 ounces of your choice of sauce over it and your mozzarella cheese, 350 for 35 minutes. I went about an hour because um, I wanted to make sure my meat was at like a good 165. So... It's good. That's it. It's just like a nice little potato carrot meat sauce blend. So it's a nice little dinner. That's what I'm having. And uh, and Dustin's having his food. That's it. I got. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye.